Good morning, y'all. We are live in my kitchen making breakfast this morning. Comment hashtag replay for me. I'm gonna get started in just a minute. We're gonna make the big bowl egg scram from Trim Healthy Table on page 331. I made my lunch out of this cookbook yesterday and I'm using this cookbook because, little tip, I make my menus using one cookbook per week. So this is Trim Healthy Table Week and so that's what I'm doing. And I have a little extra time this week and the next couple weeks because I'm taking a break from group coaching. So have a little more time that I can do some lives with you guys and um, enjoy seeing y'all on the Facebook. So I'm gonna get started because these veggies that I'm gonna be cooking need some time to saute. So the first thing that I'm gonna do, I have my little pan and, oh yes, here it is, my coconut oil spray. Good morning, hey Angie, hey Michelle. How are y'all doing? Okay, I need a new bottle of this. Y'all remind me to get one out of the pantry. <laughs> okay, so I got that sprayed. Now we're gonna put, um, go ahead and turn this on. And I'm gonna be using the veggies that I'm choosing. There's a lot of options in this recipe, but I'm gonna be doing some frozen um, bell pepper that I bought at the Walmart. Okay, just some chopped. This is at THM land, we call this drive through stew. So just a little handful. And then also some seasoning blend. Okay, right, right there, okay? So another handful of that. Maybe two little handfuls. And I'm also going to use some organic spinach. And I'm gonna do two large handfuls because that's the way I love things to be. Good morning, Tracy. I can't see who else that is that said hello. I can't see that far. Okay, so huge handful. And I'm going to get a lid and let that um, saute simmer or whatever. So hold tight. Okay. All right, we spray the large skillet. We got it over medium heat. We got the veggies. Okay, now we're going to actually talk with a little salt. I missed that memo. So we'll get that. That's not a safe place to put that. Okay. Top with a little salt. Now we can put the lid on. <laughs> Let's see what y'all are saying. Good morning. Headed to work. Okay. Have a great day, Julie. Good morning, Tara. You look lovely. Oh, Angie, you're so sweet. Eight months since I started with me. Oh, happy eight month anniversary, me and you. I love you, Angie. Um, let's see. I can't for hubby to get home tomorrow to take pictures and measure. Oh, I'm so excited. Let me know how that goes. I'm just super comfy. Like, I have on my little leggings, of course. Y'all aren't surprised. And this is just a really fun um, one-size-fits-all warm thing. But it's not hot. It is cool outside. But this thing, it's like fleece on the outside, but it's not on the inside, so it don't get super hot. <laughs> not that y'all really care to know all that, but I thought I'd just tell you. What's your shirt? Oh, that's, I was just telling you. <laughs> and it's um, Simply Southern is the brand, because I'm Simply Southern, right? <laughs> okay. I bought it at a store in Natchez when JJ, JJ and I went on our trip. Okay, so our veggies are steaming up here, okay? And I'm gonna stir them every now and then so that they know I'm not forgetting about them and get this spinach good and wilted. Oh, the onions and peppers are already smelling so good. And then what we're gonna do is mix up our egg mixture. Combine our egg mixture. I don't like using the same word. That's silly. Okay, Fab. Now, if you watched my YouTube video that I released this week on the glazed crumb cake, you will learn that I learned a very important lesson. You need to crack eggs one at a time before plopping them into your bowls. <laughs> Holy smokes. But we are going to just do that very thing and it's gonna be fine. Okay, yay. So this one is okay and I only have two hands and y'all can't see very far. So I'm having to be really careful here. It's all good. Okay, that one is fine. We're gonna put that in the bowl. And then we have this one. So I'm like doing this at my stove top, by the way, y'all. So, okay, this one looks good, but we're going to make sure Yes, we have beautiful orange yolks. They're gorgeous. Gorgeous! All right, let me rinse my hands. Hold on. Okay, so we got our eggs in there. 
All right, it wants miso. I'm not using miso. It says to use a little extra salt if you're not using miso, so that sounds good to me. All right, and then next up, we're going to do some nutritional yeast. Okay, and we're also, let me turn this down just a smidgen. Now we're also going to do some apple cider vinegar. And look guys, if you don't want to do all these extra steps, just do some veggies and steam them up and fix your coffee and then add your eggs. Like really, it's not that difficult. This is just a little fancy this morning. And I'm excited. Oh, hello. I'm excited to do a little fancy. Okay, after the um, apple cider vinegar, we're going to do, which, oh, do y'all want to see? Sorry, I forget. I forget. That's the apple cider vinegar I use. All right. And then um, they want some liquid smoke. So, I mean, by golly, I have some. So, I'm going to put a little drop in there. Just a couple little drips. It's going to be so yummy. A little onion powder and garlic powder, which I don't have a little um, shaker thing on this. So, I'm going to be real mindful and just do a little bit there. And some garlic powder. And it has the shaker thing. <laughs> Why don't I have a shaker thing on my onion powder? I don't know. No telling. We're almost done mixing this up. Okay, make sure I'm doing this right. Water. All right, it wants a tablespoon. Okay. And this recipe I did, it is not um, necessarily public facing like on the internet, but they did share it um, recently. Or no, it wasn't really, it was a couple years ago, I think. Um, and I linked that, so hopefully y'all can find it if you don't have Trim Healthy Table. If you don't have Trim Healthy Table, you need to buy it, just saying. Now they want us to use a stick blender or whisk very well. So I'm gonna whisk very well because I don't have a stick blender, I don't think. Or do I? Do I have a stick blender? Do I have a stick blender? A stick blender is like a on a stick. We don't know. <laughs> hey Brittany. Hey Jesse. Okay. Um now we're gonna um, do this, open this up. This is all nice and wilted down, as you can see. We're just going to pour the eggs over the top. Okay. Now what? Now what? Increase the heat and stir well. It smells amazing. Cody, can you smell that? Well, this was easy. And I think adding in all those flavors and stuff, I think I'm going to be really happy about that. Something a little different. If I have eggs, I'm typically going to use coconut oil in the bottom, fry my eggs, and then saute spinach. But having these extra flavors is just gonna be gonna be awesome today. Mercy. Looks delish. Okay, let's see what else we're doing. I'm gonna turn this down because I have a gas stove and this sucker gets hot. You caught the live. Hey Michelle, how are you? Okay. Um Glacier. Oh, yes. Now, it wants me to drizzle coconut oil, but I'm just going to add it in the pan because I don't want to melt this. I don't want to go through all that. So, I'm just going to keep stirring, and we're almost done, guys. That's so gorgeous. I mean, if I'd have used more red pepper, it would look just like the picture in the book. Winning. Okay, fabulous. I'm going to turn that off. should use a bowl. It says big bowl scram. What do y'all think? We'll use this pretty blue bowl. Pretty blue bowl. Oh my stars. Yes ma'am. Thank you. Yum me. There we go girls. Now I'm not gonna, trying to be ugly but if you can take the time to watch me make this you can make this. So, no excuses on eating a good breakfast, people, okay? And if you don't want to get up in the morning and make something like this, the night before or over the weekend, maybe, think towards this for the weekend, make a breakfast casserole. And you can easily cut that into squares, wrap it in parchment paper, put it in zippies, however you want to do it, and then just warm those up and you can eat it on the way to wherever you're going or at home if you're just staying home, whatever. Good morning, where do you find your seasoning blend? I have not been able to find it in a long time. 
Um, I find it in the frozen section at every grocery store around here. Um, so that's where it is. Good question. Okay, I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Oh, one more question. I had my favorite breakfast this morning, going to work later today, win for me. Yay, Michelle. Her favorite breakfast is what I was just describing, the coconut oil, fried eggs, spinach, and I think sometimes she does the breakfast meat like I do. Michelle's been with me for a long time. We're good friends now, aren't we, girl? Okay, I hope y'all have a great day. Bye, everybody.